Hello everyone, this is Parker from Singapore. Today is the third day of the Urban Sketcher Symposium and today we'll be filled with workshops, demonstrations, lectures as well as sketch walks. So right now I'm at the NDC, the second level, uh, overlooking the participants. So the participants are preparing, uh, gathering in groups for their workshops. They are about to head off soon. Alright, I'm heading off now. I have no idea which workshop I'm following actually. I see Virginia Hain in front of me, so I guess this is her workshop. A big brush, so I'm not being precise with the shape. Keep it a little loose. That's Rob Sketcherman relaxing in his chair. This is Frank Ching's workshop. Yesterday I only covered very briefly, so today I will stay around a bit longer. His teaching perspective and composition. So how do you draw space? You draw the buildings that need the space. And you draw things that occupy the space. Like you say. So that's a little harder because most people draw objects. They draw things. I'm concerned with the relationship between the things. Okay. So I mean, that's just so I'm just telling you some of my approach to how I work. Um, and the hard part is in drawing like this is that we, we it's a three-dimensional environment. You know, you know, that's so far away, this is closer, that's farther away, and so on. But in drawing, how do you convey that on the paper? What angle is that line? What you have to do is you take your pen. Not like this. Up again. Not like this. Not like that. Up again. Go up there and you line it. Close one eye. Looks silly. Close one eye and you line it up. Don't do this. You understand what I'm saying? Don't do this. <laughs> so, after a 10 minute short sketching session, Frank Ching gave the participants some instructions and now they are off to their second sketching sessions. So with the tips they learned just now earlier, they improve over their drawings. We're having lunch now at the Hawker yeah, Center you know, in Singapore. Just figure out how to do it. Thank goodness I have somebody smart enough to figure out how to do it. That's Shari and her husband, Virginia Payne, James Richard, and Stephanie Bai. We have to put it on the plane like that. Let's see. Chicken rice. Really delicious chicken rice. This is the famous chicken rice, right? Is it good? It's delicious. <laughs> but I'm not going to eat it on camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sweet Tick. Sweet Tick is one of the sponsors uh, for Urban Sketches Symposium also. His store, yeah, he's having his lunch now. Chicken rice. Singapore oh, stable diet. Singapore stable diet, yes. And uh, this is his booth. Uh, the booth, the brand, his shop is called Artist. It's an online shop, so he sells Daniel Smith watercolors, watercolor palettes, brushes, Skoda brushes, Tumor and Burn sketchbook. The, uh, and these are the Artramentis Carlet inks. They are waterproof inks. I'm now going to the Singapore Management University for the first activity I'm joining. It's about food sketching.
Kirs are a very typical food cart that you can find at most places in Singapore. Now in Singapore, we have food eateries every five to 10 minutes of walking. I'm not sure what they are going to order, but let's take a look at the food source. That is Chris explaining nature. So, and, uh, and I like gardens by the way. I go to gardens by the way a lot of times. We are now at the Malay store as uh, they are selling Muslim food. And the ayam goreng, yeah? It looks like right. The ayam goreng, no need to cut. The sayap and the, the wing. Okay. Ah, kita mau gambar. Sketching. Satu piring lagi sama. Looks like they have ordered some toast and coffee as well. Now inside the blue container are eggs, half boiled eggs. Nasi lemak is actually steamed in coconut oil and pandan leaves. For the rice, I don't need to throw every single grain. Uh, I just use water pan, oil pan, and water color. And I have my little chick here. It's actually salt. I like to sprinkle some salt to create textures. I also get some salt for you. Those are the eggs that I was talking about just now. So that is my sketch of Anita teaching the participants about street food sketching. Hi everybody, I'm here on Waterloo Street in Singapore drawing the flower sellers who are the hardest working ladies I've ever seen <laughs> in front of the temple. And uh, that's it. I, I just said I could draw here for a year. There's a lot on Waterloo Street. <laughs> So you only use red color and yellow color as I noticed. Well, I decided to do that. See if you, here is my, my little thumbnail. Oh. And I just wanted to try putting color only here. And I'm not sure if I put it up top or not, but I like the way the um, shapes of the umbrellas surround them. And I thought this is like their whole universe under these umbrellas where they're working and selling flowers all day. So I wanted to contain it like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. So all the activity is contained within within here, yeah. And people come to them for the flowers and incense and then leave. So on the other side we have the temples. And this side is the Queen Street Market. Sell bags, uh, plants, accessories, cutleries, utensils, religious items, uh, um, dry goods. Let's go a bit faster and see who's in front. Yeah. Oh, they're just about done. One, two, three. Oh, Roman sketchers. We have Amber from USA. Delphine and Grace. Okay. 
Kunst im Papier. Kunst im Papier. Kunst im Papier. Kunst im Papier. That's the name of this book. Oh, this is square shape. This is a watercolor book that is so at the book there. Uh, yes, they are selling it there. I got this one in, um, not here. Oh. I am from the United States, so I brought this one with me. Actually, I brought two of them with me. I figured I would go through them really fast. Yeah, so it, it holds up really, really well to the watercolor. So I can just, like, douse it with... I mean, this was from yeah, Sumitas yeah, yesterday, yeah. and there's got to be eight layers of paints wow. in there, just, and it, and it holds yeah. up pretty well. Looks like I buy myself one. <laughs> yeah, buy it. I love this one. Hi, I'm back at the National Design Center, and we have just came back from the sketch walk. Let's take a look at what they have. That's Daman from Surabaya. Surabaya, Indonesia. Indonesia. That's the two sketchers that he drew. Well, let's take a look. So where's this? Where's this place? Busora Street. Busora Street. Masjid Sultan. No, Masjid Sultan. The Sultan Mosque. The yeah, Sultan oh, okay. Mosque. So are you going to color the? Yes, yeah, later. 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 Back, later. Back, oh, back, back, back at Indonesia. Back in a uh, hotel room. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hi. This is Tree, and this is uh, Emmanuel. They're from Art Friend. Art Friend is one of our big sponsors for this symposium. They are the people who are responsible for allowing us you know, to have a lot of goodies in our goodie bags and our raffle prizes. So thank you very much. Thank you. Really, really appreciate you for making this a success. And um, yeah, you know, so they contributed to some of these things. Yeah, what are you drawing? Oh, you're not drawing. What are you writing? Uh, today, there's a pan out event, you know, at 7 o'clock at Asanoya. So uh, the sponsor, pan out, is very nice to give us food and finger. Uh, finger, finger food, food. drink oh, and finger okay. food provided. Oh, okay. Okay, so please attend and you have to sign up. Ask people to come and sign up. Sign up, sign up. <laughs> All right, thank you. I don't know where, where they are. Rob, sketch your man. Anybody seen him? That's very nice. <laughs> Small so nice. skin. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 How do you make the... You mean you have to cut all the holes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. We, we have to cut the holes cut. ourselves. Okay. Uh, then we sew the, this one. So, so this one. is... This is machine saw no, or hand saw? No, 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 hand no, 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 how long do you take to sew all this? More than two hours. More than two hours to sew yeah, the, the pen wrap. Oh, okay. Is this real leather? Yeah. Calf leather. Oh, calf leather. I mean, oh, okay. Uh, calf. Says in C A L F. Yes, calf leather. leather. Oh, okay. Wow. That's why it's so soft. And the string this must be soft. four times. The string must be four times the length of this. Oh. This is Jane Blundell's workshop on picking watercolors and she recommends different colors that you can use how to mix them this is actually a beginner's course and if you actually want to learn more about watercolors you'll be sure to check out her blog I also use a blog on numerous occasions and it is really very informative let's go over to the other room and see who's in there Oh. That's Paul Wang from Singapore. He likes to use a lot of splashes, very textural stuff in his sketches. Later I'll take a look at his sketchbook. Uh, so this is his workshop and it looks packed. Pigment, a lot of water. Okay, so let's start with the, I'll start with the transparent brown oxide. So if you have activated your paint, it will be quite moist and easy to pick up now. We're going we're gonna to wait 5 seconds so that the experiment is pretty consistent. Okay, paper towel. Okay, and then we'll close it.
So now everybody is trying to create the textures uh, that Paul has taught them to. Some are using fingernails, some use the hand phone, and some use some plastic wrap. Here are some of the watercolor tubes that Jiren is using in her workshop. So these are the 15 colors? The 15 colors. 15 colors. There. Oh, okay. And a couple of really fun convenience colors that are great to add. Oh, okay. So I remember, are these the 15 colors that are on your website as well? They are. So there's a whole tab on my website called the Ultimate Mixing Palette. Ultimate so Mixing. Has those, and they're the ones that I've used to do the book. Okay, so the ultimate mixing palette. So if readers were to search for the ultimate mixing palette on your website, they would be able to find it. Okay, that's interesting. These are the packet. The what? What are these containers? Oh, these are watercolor containers. Yes. Yeah, so they they hold a whole lot of different colors, and I use them so that I can compare different. Um, just talk about different types of colors. So, you know, slightly warmer, more opaque, less opaque, more transparent. They, they, so that's just all different oranges, all different blues. So then if someone asks a question, I can answer it more easily and show them the difference. Well, there are so many colors. How do you remember which color is which? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got them on top and then they're also written. Oh, they're all here. written. Oh, yeah. That, okay, yeah. I so I'm have, pretty familiar with them. I, I can find them pretty easily. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, everyone is putting down their sketches now for the show and tell. Come share your okay, and get some feedback from you. So, Kathy, maybe I can begin with you. So, Kathy's sketch is this, this, this one. That one right there. We love textures! Right there and there, they were really so bad. I, I turned it over. This was some men I found yes, in the yes. street working. It's okay. They were wonderful. So cool. What was that? Oh, that was the uh, the Arab Street oh. in the night time. Okay. You do the this is all, well. all from here. Oh. They're also Arab Street. Yes. Very beautiful. Yeah. yeah. These are uh, Malay and... Brush pen. Brush pen? Yeah, brush pen. This is Don, one of the um, sketching machines of Singapore. <laughs> Wave and smile. <laughs> so that's all for today. Tomorrow will be the last day for the Urban Sketchers Symposium. Remember to subscribe to the channel as well as follow up with the news on the main Urban Sketchers blog. So thank you for watching and wait for the video tomorrow. Bye!